It feels like I'm skydiving when I text you. Rose petals on the floor outside your bedroom. Sunshine whenever you smile. Hey, what up, guys? It's that boy EP or EP, and we are gonna be playing some Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Now, in this Call of Duty Black Ops 4 video, I'm gonna be teaching on how y'all can get the most kills in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Basically, I'm gonna be teaching on how y'all can dominate and drop 40 bombs and pub stuff every game y'all play. So, before we do get right into this video, hope y'all have been having a great blessed medicated day and i hope y'all drop us a like button because your boy kind of you know took me took me some time to put these tips together you know get the gameplay and stuff so yeah i hope y'all enjoyed today's video took uh, you know actually took my time with this video so yeah guys thank y'all so much for watching hope y'all enjoyed today's video and let's just get right into it fam duty black ops 4 video on how to get a lot of kills in call of duty is basically playing the people in the back play smart Throughout this whole gameplay, you're gonna see me pre in those corners or pre firing even pre firing those corners and just jump shotting, drop shotting, moving around when I'm in gunfights, you know what I'm saying? Like those small things really matter in Call of Duty. I'm telling y'all, small things in Call of Duty matter. Playing smart is a very small thing to do in Call of Duty. A lot of people don't do it. A lot of people like to blind rush. It don't work like that, yo. You gotta be prepared 24-7 because Call of Duty is a very hectic game. Okay. Basically. It's very fast paced this time around, so the smoke is gonna be for everywhere. So if you're not ready, this we're literally gonna be dying a lot. And you know that's not what we're here. We're here to get a lot more kills. Not to die a lot. So yeah. Play smart is playing smart is one big small thing you can do in Call of Duty, but it will also take you a long way in the long run when it comes to you know getting all those kills, you know, getting those multi-kills, those rapid kills, doom, you know what I'm saying? So even if you fucking look like a little sweat. Just do it, alright? Cause look, I'm over here pre-aiming corners and I was just going off with it, you know what I'm mean? Aim at those corners before you do because you never know if there's gonna be smoke right there. And you'd rather be, you know, safe than sorry, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, guys. You just gotta be prepared. So, if you wanna get a lot of kills, play smart and don't blind rush. That's one of the main, main things I can give y'all. Because if you blind rush 24-7, you're just gonna die. Yeah, you're gonna get a few kills every, every now and then, but most of the time, you're just gonna die. And you know, you don't want to do that because I used to blind rush like a motherfucker, but now I'm starting to play smart and shit. And now I'm like pub something, dropping 40 bombs every. Alright, so for our next segment is basically be about the smoke. If you're not about the smoke in Call of Duty, you will not get as many kills as I be getting, you know, per game. You know what I'm saying? Because usually me, I be averaging 25 to about shit. I'll say. 40. We'll just we'll just cap the max at 40. I say 25 to 40 kills I usually get a game. You know what I'm saying? So basically, but I'm not just camping. I'm everywhere. Like I probably in the most annoying player to play against because I literally a fucking rusher. I rush everywhere. I never in the same spot unless unless that spot's hot and I'm going off there. That's the only time you'll see me kind of camping. But I'm really most of the time I'm not camping. I'm always moving back and forth. The only time I'll stay in one area if it's getting re if it's really hot, and that's where all the smoke's at. Cause like me, I like to be about the smoke. So like, if you know the hot areas in the maps, definitely go to those, cause that's where everyone's gonna be at. All the sea, cause it's a hot area. So basically, that's where all the smoke is at, and that's where you get more kills from. Basically, you get more kills by being in the more smoke, more smoke you are, the more kills you are. Now you gotta be ready. So that's where tip number one comes in: playing smart, playing smart, and being about the smoke can take you a long way if you know how to mix those in well so basically if you play smart peek them corners you know jump shot drop shot do whatever you gotta do and you're about to smoke boom you will freaking go off on every game i'm telling you like after this video you should be able to drop i'll say a 40 bomb you should be, be able to drop a 40 bomb after this video just because these tips are so damn useful if you literally just practice these tips play smart be about to smoke and just don't be a pussy and don't camp your whole game you get a fucking 40 bomb i'm telling you call this call of duty is way too damn easy for some reason i just a lot of people like to camp so i guess that's why i'm always rushing and shit i don't know basically i hate camping camping is for pussies i don't know how y'all can just stay still me i'm always doing i'm always going back and forth and look, i think about i think i get to stick on turn on yeah i get this turn on right here i'm about to whoop that guy that dude i'm telling you the spitfire is too damn cold yo Alright guys, so in this segment of the video, we're going to be talking about score sheets. Now, score sheets are key in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Like, I mean key. I'm going to tell you all this. The higher the score sheet is, the more kills you're going to get from that score sheet. I learned this from past Call of Duty. 
it is like proving. I don't know. It's just straight facts. The higher the score streak is, the more kills you're gonna get from that short streak. The score streaks I run are Strike Team, Attack Chopper, and UAV. They're like a great combination. I'll let the Strike Team. I'll call them the Strike Team first. I always let my score streak stack. Never ever calling them in right away. Always, you know, let them stack up until you can get your edge score streaks. What I do, I'll call them my Strike Team first. Let you know, let it do its damage, you know, on the ground and shit. And then once the strike team is done kicking some ass or they're just all dead or some shit, I'll call in my attack chop round that is doing some work. Now, don't ever call you know your score chick in at the same time because you won't get you know kills from the score chicks a lot. If I call in my strike team only, or if I only call in my strike team, it's gonna my strike team is gonna get you know most of the kills. But let's say I call in my strike team and my attack chopper, my attack chopper and strike team are gonna have to be, are gonna be fighting both for the kills, you know what I'm saying? So he just won't work like attack choppers are key if you're gonna be running some score sheets i highly highly advise you to put some attack chopper on because it would definitely racks up a lot of kills in the long run like uh, this attack chopper was going off with it yo like and having high score sheets on will literally go get you most of the kills because i can literally just camp and let my attack chopper do all the work and it'll give me a shit ton of fucking kills i'm telling you yo. like having high score sheets are key if you want a lot of fucking kills Especially on Killer Confirmed, if you fucking have some high score on Killer Confirmed, you would fucking go off on that hell, yeah. Alright guys, for our last, you know, segment of the video, it's kind of an important one, actually. Depends on, the way you, depends on the way you look at it. It's basically, find the gun that works best for you, or find the gun that you're most comfortable using with. Me, the gun that works for me, and that I go off with no matter what, is a Demon 3X. For some reason, I am too damn cold with this gun. Like, it took me a while to really find my gun in Call of Duty. Like, at first, I thought it was the MX-9. And then I got this gun. I was like, holy cow. You know what I'm saying? Like, this gun's OPS. But, because when you cycle through guns, every gun is different, like I'm saying. So, every gun plays different. So, basically, don't cycle through guns. Find, like, the three good guns that you're fucking good with. And just go off with that. Go off from there. Don't freaking try to use LMG. Then try to use a fucking shotgun. Or try to use a tactical rifle. Or anything like that. Nah. Stick to, you know, me, I usually use my three cycle guns are the Ramtar, the Demon 3XB, and the Cordite. That is the only three guns you really catch me using this because I am too damn cold with those guns, yo. I am telling you, once you find your gun in Call of Duty, you start doing wonders. You will literally start going off on every game. Like me, I fucking hit, I stay going off. Like I stay getting multi kills. Like right there, I could have gotten a multi kill if I was a fucking one tap. But I'm literally telling y'all guys, when y'all find your gun in Call of Duty, you'll start doing wonders and you'll just start going off. Alright guys, I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. And if y'all did enjoy today's video, drop that subscribe button because I'm posting a lot of Call of Duty content more. And a lot more just news for Call of Duty. Like basically, I've been posting a lot of best class set of videos. Tips on how to get better in Call of Duty. Basically, I'm the guy if you want to get your game skills up in Call of Duty like I'm for you. So yeah, guys, thank y'all so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notifications if you want to learn more on how to dominate in Call of Duty. And hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video. So yeah, guys, thank y'all so much for watching. And I'll just catch you on the next one. Y'all have a blessed, medicated day. Peace, my friends.